If you're new to programming, you may have noticed some patterns when it comes to naming things like methods, functions, or classes. These are called naming conventions and they're used to ensure your code remains clean and organized. Each programming language has its naming conventions, however, some are pretty common across different languages. Hi, my name is Victor and today on Height Above Sea Level, we'll be looking at four naming conventions every programmer should know about. Before we get started, if you want to talk more about this kind of thing, be sure to follow me on Twitch at Height Above Sea Level, where I do some live coding sessions as well as try to answer some of your questions as best I can. First up is camel case notation. Camel case is the practice of writing words where only the first letter of the first word is capitalized while the remaining words all begin with capital letters with no spaces in between. It's sometimes referred to as lower camel case or dromedary case depending on the developer you ask or what programming language it's used in. Dromedary here meaning the species of camel with only one hump. Camel case is commonly used in programming languages like C-sharp, JavaScript, Java, and C++ for naming things like variables or functions. In some instances, you may even see an underscore prefixed before the first word, such as is the case when naming fields in C-sharp. This is optional and can help differentiate between fields and variables at a glance. Camel case is also used outside the programming world in words like iPhone, eBay, or in online services that prefix a lowercase e before the actual name. If you ever get confused what camel case is, just think about drawing a camel's hump. You first start low, then go high. Similarly, in camel case, the first letter of the first word is lowercase, then every word after is uppercase. Up next is Pascal case. This is the practice of capitalizing the first word of every word with no spaces in between. It's sometimes referred to as upper camel case depending on who you ask. But why is that? Well, some people consider camel case as having two versions, lower camel case and upper camel case. This is all relative. For example, Microsoft considers camel case to just be lower camel case as you'll see when programming in C-sharp. How you prefer to differentiate the two is completely up to you. The important thing is you knowing that Camel case and Pascal case are two different naming conventions. Pascal case can be seen in languages like JavaScript, c -sharp, and Java when naming methods, classes, as well as components in React.js. This one's pretty easy to remember since it's similar to what you see in titles of articles, movie names, or people's first and last names. The biggest difference here is the removal of the space between words. Moving on, we have snake case. Snake case is the practice of separating each word in a group of words with an underscore where all the words use one case. It's also known as pothole case and is commonly used not just in code but in naming files and folders as well. When every letter of each word is capitalized, it is referred to as screaming snake case. Snake case is commonly used in Python when naming variables, functions, and methods. Screaming snake case is used in naming constants in Java as well as PHP. Some other languages it can be found in include Ruby, Rust, and C. If you find yourself struggling to remember what snake case is, just think of the underscore as a snake on the ground crawling to the next word. Finally, we have kebab case. Kebab case is the same as snake case except instead of using an underscore to separate words, you use a dash. Again, the words are all in one case and it's referred to as screaming kebab when only uppercase letters are used. It's also commonly used when naming files and folders. Using kebab case could potentially cause some confusion since the dash might be interpreted to be a minus sign, so just be a bit careful about that. One programming language you'll probably see kebab case being used in is Lisp. Lisp is one of the oldest programming languages out there and is the only one I could find that uses kebab case. So if you know of any other, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Out of all these conventions, kebab case and snake case are probably the ones most people will grasp the fastest since they've used or seen them in some capacity before. Just a side note before I finish, it's probably not a good idea to use numbers at the beginning of names of variables, methods, functions, etc. because this could lead to some issues. As you may have noticed or will notice, very few, if any, of the programming tutorials out there have methods or classes that start with a number. You'll also rarely, if ever, see a class or function whose name is just numbers, so it's good to keep this little piece of advice in mind as you go. A quick bonus for those of you interested in other naming conventions you can check out is Hungarian notation. I hear this is used quite a bit in C++, so if that's the language you're learning, it might be something worth looking into. 
All in all, the more you practice coding with these conventions, the better you'll get at using them regardless of whatever language you're using. Speaking of practice, if you want to practice writing code and don't know the best way to do it, I have a video covering how to practice coding, I'll link in the description below, as well as add in the card at the top right of your screen. That's all I have for you guys. Do you currently use any of these naming conventions? Which one do you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch at height above sea level if you want to talk more about this live on stream. And if that doesn't work, come hang out on Discord instead. Just click the link in the description below and become a member of the Water Tribe today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, from me to you, deuces.